Hello, I'm Spade. This is the 30th episode of Mastering CSGO, uh, which actually comes out today, one year exactly since I started doing these. And uh, when I started playing CSGO and making videos as Spade, um, the whole point was to track my uh, progress and see how learning the game went and how well, how, how good I could get in, you know, a given amount of time. And the main way I tracked this was by playing Deathmatch all the time and just trying to shoot headshots, headshots only, um, to improve my aim. And I tracked these with a couple of statistics that I made up. I had headshots per minute, and then, uh, you know, a viewer suggested that I do headshots per kill because uh, it's a little less random. So I hopped into Deathmatch this morning. I played about six minutes. Uh, just to see kind of where I'm at after a year of playing. And uh, over six minutes, not the best sample size, I know. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I had uh, 18 kills, and 15 of those were headshots, which gives me a headshots per minute of 2.5 and a headshots per kill of 0 0.83. When I started playing a year ago, uh, my headshots per minute ratio was 1.26, and my headshots per kill was 0 0.59 and you can go back to the old videos to, to check that out and, and see how it went. Um, however, in this, I did get a knife kill. Um, I killed someone with a pistol, and I also uh, got a frag with an op. So if you take those three out, which is kind of like I wasn't trying to nail my headshots with it, then I actually had 15 for 15 uh, headshots, which brings my headshots per kill to one which is a nice improvement. I think my game sense has also improved. I've played a lot of matchmaking. I've got the highlight videos up. Um, but even after a year of playing, I can still whiff a 2v5 retake. Let's take a look. Bomb has been planted. Flash bang. Fade 